do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos student this is question number 4 neat physics paper 2015 Hello students. Students, let us solve question number four. This question is: Two, the two ends of a metal rod are maintained at temperatures 100 degrees centigrade and 110 degrees centigrade. If I have a rod of whatever length L, suppose these two ends A and B. are maintained at temperature 100 and 110 degree centigrade this end is at high temperature this end is at low temperature the difference of temperature is a uh, 10 degree in this situation the rate of heat flow the rate of heat flow rate of heat flow that is the heat quantity of it flowing per second this is known as rate of heat flow i will call this as a rate as a amount of heat flowing per second i will call this as h heat flowing per second h the rate of heat flow in the rod is found to be 4 joule per second so in this situation the rate of flow of heat is given by 4 joule per second that is my h1 suppose h1 is the amount of heat uh, uh, flowing out per second if the ends of the rods are maintained at temperatures 200 and 210 degree centigrade so now this is changed to 210 degree centigrade and this is changed to 200 degree centigrade then the rate of heat flow that means in this situation what is the value of h2 how much heat in this situation will flow now in this situation what is our h2 where this is maintained as 210 and this is maintained as 200 if i have to think of one equation for the rate of flow of heat the rate of flow of heat can be represented as the quantity of heat flowing per second is equal to some constant times the area cross section of the rod or the conductor this area cross section the and the temperature gradient that is uh, t1 minus t2 over the length this is the formula for rate of flow of heat i have represented this rate of flow of heat as h i write h is k a t1 minus t2 sometimes this is called delta t is over this so if the rod is having a temperature t1 and t2 obviously t1 is greater than t2 i suppose then heat will flow in this direction heat flows because of temperature difference current flows because of potential difference whatever current plays role or potential difference plays role in electric current the same role temperature plays in heat current we know that uh, ohm's law is uh, v the potential difference across the ends of the conductor equals to i into r r is the resistance i is the amount of charge flowing per second so whatever i is playing the role the same is playing the role here in place of charge the heat flowing per second and that is the called heat current so i and h have the same meaning over here and this is nothing but t1 minus t2 t1 minus t2 is h l divided by k this is my this is just like uh, temperature difference which is just like delta v 
I, this is the meaning of I, that is current, into this is the meaning of the R, and so therefore L over Ka is a R value. This is R, so I write H into R. So R is independent of the connection, the potential difference. Delta V is independent of R. R is independent of delta V. Similarly, the resistance, heat resistance is independent of the temperature difference. That means this temperature, this potential difference across the ends of the conductor is proportional to I. Similarly, delta T is proportional to H. So from here, I'll get the expression that because this is the same conductor, and the temperature is only at the ends are changing, I write that the temperature difference equals to heat flowing per second and the resistance of the conductor. Because R is same, I write delta T is proportional to H. If delta T is proportional to H, then H is proportional to delta T because of the depends on the temperature difference it doesn't depend on the temperature of one end or the other end it depends on the temperature difference in the first case the temperature difference in the first case was t1 minus t2 which was 110 minus 100 which is 10 in the second case the temperature difference is T1 minus T2 which is 210 minus 200 which is 10 because the temperature difference is same so H1 the heat flow rate also will be remaining same so because this is a constant so then therefore this will also be constant or in other words I can write H1 over H2 is delta T1 over delta T2 which is 10 by 10 which is 1 so from here H1 is H2 that means the here earlier it was 4 joule flowing per second in this situation also it will be 4 joule per second it will be 4 joule per second so this is the answer to this question okay thank you